everybody, what's going on? Nathan343 here, and we have another box sitting next to me, which is really something cool. So we're gonna unbox this, kind of talk a little bit about it. We're gonna compare it to its older brother or sister, I guess you would say, and uh, see what, uh, what's better compared to this versus the 7R, so stay tuned. Twenty twenty two is the year of the tiger. All right. So whoops. Is a another box probably with a box inside a box. Oh yeah, I'm right. So in this box, as you see in the thumbnail, and I'm gonna need my assistant to help me. I got with me DJ Mike James. I'm gonna pull it out. have the 10R from Sheds and we're going to compare it to the fork um, we get a clamp one of those brackets another clamp and another bracket power con and a really good, nice DMX cable. Also, safety cable. Ugh. Very, very big. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's huge. Let's, uh, let's bring up its uh, older brother and you can see the difference. All right, so. This is the Beam 237R. This is the Beam 275 from Sheds. As you can see right there, they put their logo on it. This one is just kind of an off brand. Uh, I use these on my totems. Uh, so we're hopefully gonna be getting, now these, the auto programming sequence and the sound active, if you're going to use this type of moving head, you've got to DMX them and be able to tell it what to do prism wise. The prism is a real big circle. It doesn't really, you know, have very good pictures. I mean, they're okay. It does have a metal go bow, go bow wheel in it and it is not LED. So these are both not LED sources. These, this one has a 230 watt bulb in it, pans 580 degrees, both directions. And then stops also has a 180 degree flip on the moving head. This one, has a 275 watt bulb in it, pans the same 580 degrees on both sides, and also has the 180 degree flip on the tilt. So, from what am I telling, can tell here on the um, build quality is, this barely fits on my totem. I mean, it is, it's pretty sketchy to put it on a totem because the, it just it's right at the edge of the base plate this one having a smaller print would probably work better on a totem for weddings. It also sits up and it also seems like it tips. I don't know for sure. It kind of looks like it tips more down so it would get further in front of you and not be so far out. I know they tip down like this uh, now, but when they're running, they don't seem, this one doesn't seem to tip down. But we're going to find out exactly um, the difference there. Uh, so it's got, it looks like interchangeable. Uh, pieces. I remember when this one came in, uh, two, one of each, because I got these in a set, one of each of these covers were cracked during shipping. And uh, this one looks like it uh, doesn't have any shipping damages at all. So, on the, we're going to go ahead and flip around. I'll show you the back sides. We'll compare them, see what's different, uh, and we'll be doing that now. Go ahead and flip this thing around. This is the 7R. Again, much heavier. It does have handles. Uh, but the road case that I was sent for these was not the right road case. I had to actually modify it to fit because with the handles on it, they wouldn't fit with the handles. So I just took them off. It looks kind of goofy at a wedding with the handles on it. So I do have the handles. They do screw on. These are a smaller handle, a smaller print. So I don't think if you've got a road case, I don't think you'd have to take the handles off on these. But 
The back of this one, we'll go ahead and flip this one around so that you can see the back. The back of this one has a power off and on. You have a fuse, you have a power con in, you have DMX out and DMX in. Okay, pretty simple forward. This one has DMX in, DMX out, off and on switch, a fuse, power con in, and most awesomely, a power con out. So you could electrically, you know, if you've got a big truss of these, you could daisy chain these together and only have to run one main power to it. And they, you know, allegedly save on cabling. And that's, that's the best part about mobile DJing is cabling, saving on cabling. You could also probably run wireless DMX off of these and they're gonna be great. Another thing that's different with the 7R versus the 10R and it makes it nice is I can lock this head so it will not move in transport. Uh, I can also lock the top head. So if I don't want it to move, it won't. This one doesn't seem to have any of that on it that I see. It doesn't have any locking devices to lock the head for moving in transport. So that's one thing I do like about the uh, 7R that I don't, but I mean, that's probably something they can incorporate. Um, what do you call it? Uh, in the near future. We have two fans here. We have a fan angled here and a fan angled here. There is one right in the back, right behind the, uh, the bulb is right here. So to get to the bulb, you gotta pull this off and then pull the plate out and then the light bulb comes out. Uh, so there's a fan here, fan here, and then there's a fan inside the base. Now from what I can tell, it looks like there's a fan here and a fan here. I don't know if there's any back here. I haven't taken the case off this one which it looks like to do that, you have to take the four screws out of here and then this lid just probably pops off with the four screws that's on it. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and check out the bottoms of these units for mounting. Without dropping it. So this one has a base plate on it that you mount. Um, it's got some nuts welded in there and I didn't bring the uh, deals, but they're basically these without these little clips on them. Actually, they are those. So they basically fit on there. And you could probably get the deals that fit in here and convert these to hang like this. If you want. Has the clips so that these go like this. Hard to get in there. Wouldn't it hurt to have a pair of pliers. There we go. When you're doing that. There we go. But it's good that it's tight. And I can see that it's only halfway in there on the top one and it's holding pretty good. So to release them, again, you just turn it and release them. So we'll get a pair of pliers to help turn that because my finger that hurts my fingers. So I try to do that. But we have the 10R going like crazy. It is in auto mode. And the 7R, as you can see, doesn't really have a fast auto mode. Like it'd be cool if this had like a slower auto mode and I'm still learning about it here. But I already like this so much better. I got my buddy Mike here, and uh, he likes it a lot better. Likes the, uh, uh, what do you call it? I'm going to probably set this up uh, possibly up here on the loft, and we're going to shoot some video of it shooting down here on the ground with the DMX controller and um, uh, see kind of how the effects are on the ground. We're going to shoot some fog off in here in a little bit. And uh, yeah, but as you can see, the auto mode on the 7R sucks. Uh, you really, if you want to use the 7Rs, which they're great lights if you DMX them, uh, they can do some pretty cool stuff. I've, I've seen some really awesome shows that, that have these things going incredibly amazing, but without DMX, you know, they're, they're not the greatest. This one uh, over here has a, like a multicolor prism, like you can do rainbow coloring, and it's got really cool of uh, uh, the prisms that I can see. I've only seen maybe one or two prisms in it so far. I'm gonna hook this up to my DMX controller. We're gonna see exactly what prisms it has. All right, guys, so you're seeing the seven R's moving heads uh, there on the left. Uh, this was the first uh, event that I used them at. As you can see, they do have really good beams coming out of them. I don't think the beams are as crisp as the 10 R's are. Uh, noticing that in some of the video that I have here. Uh, they do look really good though. Their movements are not as fast just because of the programming in them. The heads don't want to move super fast. But along with other lighting that I had there, they, they look pretty good. Now you can see the 7R 
gobo prisms are just big round circles and that's one thing that was okay at first and now that I have seen the 10R I like them a lot better and here it is now all right well here we are up on the loft at the shop and we are projecting the 10R down onto the uh, floor we are projecting from up here on the loft we have it set to random color change and uh, spinny gobo uh, the prism has two different style of prisms that's the first one kind of looks like a star and let me show you the second so there's a smaller prism so if you need just a smaller one you can see it looks really cool we got it all foggied up in here it's really good I'll show you the next one and it goes to that even to bigger so you really need it big and that's as high as it big as it goes so that's probably 15 feet across I don't know if I would go necessarily that big on a uh, big wedding but if you got a big show and these are up way in the air I would go to maybe something like that. But yeah, so we'll go ahead and run through the uh, gobos, show you which gobos they have. Right, so here we have the gobo. We've got dots, more dots, some kind of like different kind of dots. Those are stars. I'm gonna see if I can get these uh, focused a little bit. All right, so I got those focused a little better. We've got kind of bat looking things or mustaches or whatever you want to call them. We got those little, I don't know what you call those, just three, four little dots. Got some stars. Stars are always cool. We got those little things. I call those the uh, kind of hazardous material signs, I guess you would call it, kind of. We got those. Got little flowers. We got moons. Did I miss one? Nope. Got these little guys. Got a triangle prism or a gobo. More flowers. And as they can see, slow them down here. Make them rightly fade in and out from each other. So that looks really cool. And again, you can change the color. We got those. Pin star. That one whoops that one that one it's all different kinds of cool stuff and you could DMX these of course then you can set it to where it will auto change and I'm not even controlling the deal I just barely bumped it up to a certain number which each certain number will value will change uh, the way the the light reacts so but it looks pretty good so as you can tell looks really cool i really really like this a lot better than the 7r the the prisms just the way the color changes are the way they rotate the three different prisms you know small to medium to large to extra large uh i mean you get fog of course all lights look better with fog as dj uh mike james always says if you ain't got fog the lighting's gonna look like crap so but i'm gonna try to get right right in the thick of this so you can see how cool that looks with me standing. I feel like I'm in like a, like I'm getting beamed up to the mothership. Like, ah. <laughs> All right, we're back up here in the loft. I kind of wanted to show you how it looks and it does move. We just kind of got it set. So like I said, with DMX control, which I have on it now, I'm making it move. I'll turn my little light on here and zoom back out so you can see how it's moving. Projecting light. Yeah. Minus the Christmas lights hanging up here on the loft, but uh, yeah, you can control it. I've got it set to kind of a random gobo pattern slash fade. So it looks good. I'm gonna go down there and let you look at it. And it is moving, looks really good. Like I said, I think it's uh, very cool to the fact that just, just the way it looks, you can see how it's moving and, and, and a faster show would be uh, better my dmx controller just doesn't want to make 
It, I mean, I can make it go that super fast, but I, I just don't want to. It looks really good, but I mean, for a, you know, a wedding or something, that, that don't look too bad at all, the way it's going. So, uh, yeah, definitely go check the 10R over the 7R. Right, so here we are. This is DJ Mike James. He's a good friend of the channel. And uh, just want to say, price-wise, these are, I mean, this one's a little bit more expensive. I think these are running about three to 400 a piece. And I believe these are running about 500 a piece. So with better prisms, uh, better movements, I mean, the footprint's a lot better. Um, I, I suggest going with the 10R. I mean, these are a little bit smaller heads. I mean, if you want to mix the seven with the 10R in a show, would probably be perfect, but I wouldn't run, you know. The only thing I don't like about it is the, um, not having a power out, unlike a lot of the lights that sheds have, I think all their moving heads, even their little ones, have power out. So you can daisy chain and that saves on plugins and power. So again, I think, you know, this is a pretty extensive uh, review of the 10R versus the 7R. And if I seen these two in action side by side, like you guys have here today, I wouldn't hesitate to be like, I want the 10R. I think I'd spend a little bit of the extra money to get the better product. What do you think, Mike? Uh, just from what I've witnessed, I mean, I do like what the 10R does. It, it you know, the the prism patterns, you know, your 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 color wheels, your gobo wheels, and things like that that are in there. I don't know if these can be interchanged or not, but uh, but it's really impressive. Power out, smaller base. Like I said, if you're running these on a totem, like like Nick had said, this is a smaller base that he's going to fit on there. You're going to feel a little safer with it up there. As, a, as opposed to the 7R, or, which is, you know, really just pushing the boundaries of, of the surface area of your of your totem stand. But I, I'll tell you, there it's super impressive. Like I said, you guys got to see it in action. I mean, I was here the whole time, you know, watching it too because we're doing a couple other videos. But like I said, if it were if it were up to me, I mean, the price difference, I mean, it, it can be a lot for for someone. If we're talking, you know, a couple hundred bucks, you know, but for what you get in this and and, and your options in, in the 10R, I think you're gonna be happier with this product. I know these came in a pack at the time that I got these. I believe they were a little over 600 bucks for the pack. Uh, and like I said, had shipping damages. I obviously don't have any shipping damages with sheds. Their boxing material is uh, that styrofoam was that old cheap styrofoam that they were shipped in. And uh, that's how my ADG ones came in. Yeah, they're a better, I don't know what you call that. I mean, styrofoam, but it's like a, an ABS type stuff. It's different, but shipping is better. You're not going to have to worry about, is my product going to be damaged when it gets here? Because uh, they ship UPS. Uh, they ship worldwide, I do believe. Uh, some things are in uh, China. These are in the LA warehouse. They basically got here in about four or five days. Um, again, I want to thank Brian for setting this up. And uh, there's lots more stuff, reviews coming from sheds. Uh, we've got another uh, comparison video coming up after this, so if you want to stay tuned, we've got a lot of comparison stuff, and we've got some really cool sparklers coming, so stay tuned for that. Hey, and like I said, make sure you, I mean, if you use this packaging, like a lot of times you might not be able to afford a road case for these. You stick them in this and put them in a suitcase or something, they are good to go, I'm telling you. Suitcase this or tote super even. valuable right here. One of them big giant Christmas tree totes make perfect lighting I don't boxes. know the difference between the open cell and the closed cell foam, but this is the better one. You can cut it, it's gonna it's gonna stay together. Uh, it's really good, I, 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 like to, I like to hold on to these and you'll see in some of the other videos that I've done that I use this stuff to keep my lights safe because I don't buy this other road cases for everything. Yeah, again, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate In Sheds and Brian reaching out and setting this up. I believe these are probably going to be, uh, what do you call it, File X or uh, yeah, 82s? Might, yeah, it might be 86 in the 86 in these and getting another one of these for my totems. I mean, I love these. They don't, they're not a bit problem with them. I've never had a problem with them. I mean, they're easy to set up. I mean, the prisms are okay, as you've seen here in the video. Uh, these prisms are better. There's different widths of prisms, which is awesome. You can't, you open up the prism and it's one size. You can't control how big that prism is, unlike this one that you can. And the power out option, that is a huge plus. Yeah. Always a huge plus. And the handles on these, I don't have to ever worry about taking those off because they won't fit in a road case because of the footprint's a little smaller. So the auto shows on this aren't bad either. As you can see, the auto show on these uh, suck. It goes for a few, you know, it goes that way and it goes through the colors real fast and the gobo spins super fast. And it, 
stays there for, I don't know, 30 seconds, and then it moves that way, it, it's, the auto settings are not that great. You want something, if you want to be able to set on a totem and do auto settings or up on a truss and do auto settings, 10R is the best way to go. Check out Sheds. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.